I've installed Windows 11 24H2 on two unsupported laptops without bypassing system requirements. For real. Briefly about the laptops, HP ProBook 650 and Lenovo ThinkPad X240. Surprisingly, it was never that easy. We don't even need to use third-party software or open CMD. Nothing. We just need to go to the Microsoft official website and, of course, have a USB drive. One thing we need to bypass is Microsoft account, but I already have a video how to do it, so you can watch it here. So let's get it started. And let's get it started. Firstly, you need to open your browser. For example, I opened Google Chrome browser. Then you need to navigate to the Microsoft official website. Link I will leave in the video description. So I will click on download Windows 11. As you can see, at the moment we can install Windows 11 24H2 version, the latest relevant version. Scroll down a little bit until you will see create Windows 11 installation media. You need to click download now. After downloading, please insert your USB stick into the laptop. I recommend to have at least 8 GB of free space. I successfully inserted my USB stick into the laptop and now we can run this utility, this tool. Just click on it, getting a few things ready. Now you need to agree with all terms and conditions, select accept. If you wish, you can leave everything by default and if you want to do some changes, you can uncheck this option and select, for example, language, which you prefer, then you can click on next. In this window, you need to select USB flash drive. As you can see, you need to have at least 8 gigabytes of free space. Click here and select next. Indeed, this is my flash drive, so be sure that it's your flash drive. After that, you can click on next. This process may take some time, it will depend on your internet connection, on your internet speed and of course on speed of your flash drive. If you have a fast USB 3.0 flash drive and you have a USB 3.0 port, it will be quite fast. But if you have USB 2.0 flash drive and slow internet, in that case be patient and take your time. We successfully created a bootable USB stick with Windows 11 and now I will try to install Windows 11 on an unsupported hardware. Click on finish and safely remove your flash drive from the laptop. Great. So let's get into it. As you can see, this is a supported laptop, Lenovo ThinkPad. It has Intel Core i5 processor of four generation. This is my bootable USB stick. I created it using media creation tool. This is official utility from the Microsoft official website. Now we need to insert USB stick into the laptop. Next, we need to turn on the machine and select our flash drive. The easiest way to do this will be using F12 key. So you can find on your keyboard F12 key. Sometimes you need to hit F12 key with a fan key, for example. But in most cases, it doesn't require to use a fan key, only sometimes. So we need to turn on the machine, press F12. Great, from this place you need to find your flash drive. So in my case, this is my flash drive, USB flash drive, and I will press enter, like this. Now we just need to go through the installation process. Click on next, click on next one more time. I will select install Windows 11. You need to check this option. I agree everything will be deleted, including files, application and settings. So keep in mind if you have like Windows 10 with files, application, it will erase all your data. So I recommend to do backup before doing this. Then you need to click on next. In this window, you can enter your license key if you have one or if you want to activate Windows later, you can select I don't have a product key. Now you can select Windows Edition, for example, I will select Windows 11 Pro, then click on Next. As you can see, for some reason, surprisingly, it doesn't showing us like error message that we cannot install Windows 11 on unsupported PC, like TPM 2.0 doesn't support your system, etc. I want to remind you, this laptop doesn't have TPM 2.0, it doesn't have newer processor from Intel, it has only Intel Core i5 processor of 4 generation. Now you need to agree with all terms and condition, select accept. I will install Windows 11 here on this partition. This is my SSD drive. I will just click on next. Now you may see the next message that we will install Windows 11 Pro. Select install. 
and boom, magic. We installing Windows 11 on an unsupported hardware using media creation tool. Previously, I installed Windows 11 on HP ProBook laptop and I don't have any issues or problem during Windows 11 installation. But if you have some issues or problem with installation Windows 11, please let me know in the comments below and also mention the model of your laptop or your hardware. I will be grateful. Briefly, I will use the second method to bypass Microsoft account. It's not recommended to use it the second method. You can use the first one, but I want to do it quickly. So I can click on sign in options, the main join instead. And that's all. Now we can use a local account. Click on next. And here we go, we are on Windows 11, the latest version, 24H2. We installed it on an unsupported hardware, Lenovo ThinkPad. And previously, I also installed it on HP ProBook. As you can see, this is Windows 11 Pro 24H2, the latest build version. And we also can get access to premium features like Copilot. Some people like it, some people don't. This is AI feature from Microsoft. In short, I successfully installed Windows 11 on two unsupported laptops, Lenovo ThinkPad laptop since 2013 and probably laptop since 2014 HP ProBook. So if you wish, you can also give it a try. My conclusions. I don't know if it's a consequences, but I can't believe that it was so easy to install Windows 11 on unsupported laptops. To be honest, I found out about this by accident when I created a bootable flash drive. I would like to know if everything worked for your unsupported device, let me know in the comments below. Also, I recommend watching this video about critical mistakes that laptop owners make.